All right, so I got this uh number two plate for the uh, Kenex TP9 SFX. Uh, I had to grind the little notches up, down a little bit on a, a factory plate. If you buy like a clone RMR style red dot sight for that uh, for this. It won't fit it. The notch is gonna be too big for the uh, to go in the hole on the uh, on the red dot sight. And uh, this is the clone. It got like that gray looking color, kind of match the gun. I also, script my screw and uh, this shit don't work. So don't even don't don't even buy that. That's just a scam. But what do work is these uh, extractor drills bits and screws or whatever you want to call it uh that got it right out but uh yeah if you got the original trigicon on more red dot it'll fit on the factory plate but if you buy that clone if you buy them clone ones it won't fit it's, it's, it's the whole the the notch is too big for it so uh, you can see i grind that down like way too much and it, it's not fitting on there like I want it to fit so uh, I'm not gonna use that plate no more but what I end up doing is ordering one of these little ones off of eBay see these got like the little D it's like the notches are shaped like D's and uh I took that little Dremel tool and just kind of grind it a little bit down grind it uh the ends off a little bit and uh took the Dremel and I just put it in the, uh, the little hole for the notches that's on the red dot I, I grinded that a little bit and everything came out all right but I can't use the factory one no more you can see the difference the factory one got like the round notches and the aftermarket one got like these shaped notches but uh yeah got it on there it looked pretty good it fits good uh i didn't zero it in yet so uh i still gotta do that and see how that see how it holds zero but uh for that all site i mean you can't beat it <laughs> and it looked pretty decent too like i said it kind of matched the gun so that was the main reason why i bought it but uh i'm gonna put a few rounds in there and see how it shoot uh zero it out see how it's shooting stuff but uh yeah i like it so so i got a just got a threaded barrel for it also i threw that on here see that, that color kind of matches you see, see how it look could have got the original black one that's my threaded barrel that I put on here. Look real tactical like. You know, I was about to say like John Wick, but John Wick didn't have no fucking gun with no red dot sight on it. And yes, the gun has been safety checked. I have no nine millimeter bullets. So, you know, don't jump on me because I didn't do a safety check on here. I have no ammo for nine millimeter. So, uh, yeah, that's that's it. And uh what else? Uh I got the factory uh the factory holster. I hated it. I hate the factory holster. Y'all I mean I guess it's decent, it'll work, but I hated it. So I ended up buying one of these. I think this holster was like fifty dollars on uh Amazon. It's a, a comp tech and it got the belt clip uh, mount on there now. You could also, they also comes with a paddle, paddle back mount for it. And they got this other type of mount. It's like, I guess it's like an extension. It makes the gun sit lower and it sticks out to your side more. So it's not really on your hip, but, uh, yeah, I like it. This this is one of the favorite, my, one of my favorite guns that I have. Probably the most favorite gun. So for the shooting, and I got the same holster for the Glock 
30. So, I'll let y'all know.